the plants they will take a leaf to feed the worms, the worms. They eat only the, the leaf of the mulberry. So like this. Yeah. And actually the mulberry they are rather big and tall, like the other tree. Yeah. But here we cut every three months to keep it short and small like this. You see the pig and to feed the worms inside. In yeah. nature or in the wild, the worm they they stay in or they live in the mulberry tree and eat, but in the farm they just take leaf to feed them inside. Do not allow them here because the sun raining or the birds uh, and eat them. <laughs> This one just uh, three days, just three days oh old. Yeah. It's too small like this, we pick the leaf, uh, the young leaf, and we cut it small pieces, and we feed them, we spread it on the top. And this is crop big, about two weeks. Yeah. And over here, 20 days, mm -hmm. 20 days old. Yeah. And the uh, almost to make the cocoons, these worms. Now it's just 20 days. But in four more days, we're going to make a cocoon. Mm. Eat the leaf, and they grow up bigger and mm. bigger. So we feed them every, uh, every day, we feed them until uh, 25 days. The worms, no more eat. And they start to spin the cocoon. So actually, the cocoon is silk. And it's shredded from the mouth mm -hmm. and the worms. It's been, it's been a... But it takes about five days, they take around five days to spin a cocoon and burn the, the leaf inside the cocoon. Um, one more week, they become moth. The moth come out and mating and lay eggs. But the legs, moth will die. And eggs, ten days, they start. They start over again. The whole life cycle is 47 days. Uh, sometimes we just put a worm in here and they made a cocoon themselves inside the branches. Sometimes we put them in these through some things. But this one yesterday morning, yeah, yesterday morning, yeah, today about one day. And uh, yeah, they, they keep to make the cocoon about uh, uh, four to five more days. We finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yellow, green, yellow. And and this one is just just this morning. Okay. Mm. <coughs> They've been this morning, so it's just a little bit uh, transparent. So the worm they made a cocoon from their mouth and they use their head to turn round the body. Turn around a chain of uh, color yellow. Okay. In a few more days, they're going to change the color yellow and we select uh, which one is a uh, foot yellow. We move them to the basket like that and they start to spin. So this uh, cocoon, the We've been uh, tried uh, several days over here. Mm -hmm. yeah. worms inside, but uh, that's already that already. And by the way, they have uh, two layers in one cocoon. The mm -hmm. outside, the raw silk inside a fine silk. Uh, mm -hmm. Like this raw silk mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. fine silk. The raw silk is a rough. The coarse, yeah, coarse shred mm -hmm. and very fine shreds mm -hmm. the inside. Different <laughs> So 
was boiling just uh, hot water uh, just hot water we put this inside uh, we put a cocoon and then we start like this how to touch so we have uh, many uh, pieces of the string and we stick it together and stick it like this make one string and we spin it So this spinning here about uh, nearly an hour, we can need the uh, outside <coughs> and move the inside layer next place. A little roster and measure the time shape. That's it for fine shape. Put a string with here for the small string. So here's the original color, here the bleach, and we dye in this color. Bleach and dye. Here the raw stuff. Raw stuff. She's cleaning this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, untangle. I need a raw stuff. Yeah. Raw stuff. Uh, uh, prepare the thread before the weaving. And it's still coming out over there. You put them here. In the colors. Uh, we use also the natural color. In many uh, plants make different colors. Then this one. Here the tree sap make red colors. Mm. I saw this one like the cardamom. Yeah. Yeah, so made spicy. Then make this color. Coconuts and make this color. Some use uh, natural colors. Some use the uh, uh, synthetics. Uh, synthetics. Uh, Forty-five minutes for dyeing. Yeah. Forty-five minutes. Now it's it just really uh, dying and we move outside and the rims in. After the rims, and move here and the fix. To fix the colors. Here we clean. Cleaning the, the straps. After we bleach, we have some uh, some skin of the worm that is stuck together. So here we just pick it up. And we move the, the colors to match the color. Patterns. Yeah. Uh, it is a, uh, we call it the ties and dies. Yeah, ties and dies. So, first we have a white color. Yeah, white color like this. And uh, this one, the plastic. And take this and we tie it up to make the patterns. And then the dies. So the color, the, the one goes through in here, we are tying the plastic. After the rainbow, we get different colors. The ties and that. So already they're going to colors in blue. Yeah. Um, so blue color, they won't come through. Blue when they remove it, they get a, yeah, the rest. Inside the inside plastic area, they stay, oh, they, they, they stay white color. But they make uh, several times, but the, each time, Different colors. Tie and dye, tie and dye. Then finish the weaving. Orange color. 
kind of plastic over here to hide a motif like this and they're going to to die in, in red color. Yeah. Yeah. So when they're really dying, they remove this inside, stay fine. Okay. This one uh, for a fine silk, and here to make a uh, fringe, like you know, a fringe. With this one will uh, be going to to dye in uh, different colors. So here is weaving, to making a scarf. So any motif like these flowers, this pattern, to take uh, about four days to finish. Uh, one scarf in two meters. There's a much here. There. Yeah, much here. They already set up uh, this much here on the frames behind. Uh, mm. I call it a frame. And my word is don't call. So don't call it to make this pattern. We can uh, set up seven frames. They separate seven layers. Yeah, they up and down in the weaving. We also four days for uh, two meters. Okay, this one is uh, different color. Yeah. Yeah, different color.